title of this mini-podcast is The Trap of Culture. Culture has a lot to offer and so little to give. Culture is a reflection of what's happening in people's minds. It's a reflection of our wants and desires on steroids. If you gave a child everything they pointed to in the candy store, they would quickly become ill. Such is the case with too much culture. Advertising is the mouthpiece and the drug dealer of culture. It attempts to keep our wants and desires juiced up and wetted so that we convince ourselves that we can't live without what culture offers. Sadly, culture becomes a way of life, a glitzy, cheap imitation of real life. I have this Facebook friend that's so caught up in culture that he wouldn't know real life if it handed him a business card. It would be amusing to read his postings if they weren't so sad. His life is like a comic book, filled with action galore and frustration at every turn of the corner. The continuing message he sends is, It's out there somewhere and I'm going to find it. The difficulty is that one empty quest turns into another. You're not enjoying the step you're on, you're just using it to get to the next step, and then to the next one, towards the empty promise of culture. The grasshopper offered a concise phrase to sum up the culture trap. Going everywhere and doing nothing. Many people have confused activity with life. Because you're running in place at 60 miles an hour doesn't mean you're getting somewhere. Here's a real but unfortunate reality. Too much personal debt is the result of too much culture. People have been forever chasing rainbows that promise a pot of gold at the end. It's always been a fairy tale, but we're finding out it's not real. I can understand the notion of wanting one, but who really needs a Hummer? The American dream is collapsing because it's been turned into a nightmare by culture. We begged, borrowed, and stolen to purchase something that will never deliver. Culture. We've maxed out. The false promise is always this, that something out there will give you more life. Many people are being forced to awaken from this bad dream. There is a silver lining in a challenging economy. Opportunity. An opportunity to notice you've been chasing the horizon and an opportunity to take steps to find another route towards life. You have enough evidence now to realize the culture highway won't take you there. Yesterday is not returning. Our values are changing. We're at a crossroads. Reminds me of a story. I was in the broadcasting business when AM radio was dying. We had many hints of its demise, but we were in denial. Then it reached the tipping point where FM became the norm and AM became the thrilling days of yesteryear. We were resisting change in something we thought was forever. Culture is cracking, and those hanging on will crumble when it falls. The dangling carrot of culture has been gnawed down to a stub. Real sustenance happens when we discover that we can feed ourselves from the harvest that real life provides. Real life is peaceful internal satisfaction that doesn't need any outside agent to propel its existence. Find your internal peace, and you'll find the missing peace that culture has been promising you all these years. All the best, John.